I can't off. talk about his but he wants to talk about my ass. That's You're not gonna fine. disrespect my legacy. Okay. That's what the oh, you dude, ain't gonna okay. do. When it comes to representing herself in her art form of choice, hip hop superstar Nicki Minaj is about as open and honest as they come. Born in St. James, Trinidad and Tobago, Nicki's early home life was full of turbulence that only she just barely managed to escape. This is my old house. When we had hard times, my mother had to rent out her house and we all four had to move in the basement, which it was a studio apartment. Studio basement for four people. And um, I, we just used to have to walk by and see another family living beautifully in the main house and we had to walk in the backyard and go downstairs in our basement. Those days are long behind Nikki, though, and as you're probably aware, her success in the music biz has earned her a life of luxury. While the rapper tries to be pretty private about her living situation, we do know that she calls a gorgeous mansion in Los Angeles home, and today we're gonna be taking a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Nicki Minaj is a rapper, singer, and songwriter who's well known for her animated flow in her raps, as well as being a versatile recorder. Artist. While Nikki is usually willing to keep it 100 with her fans in terms of her past and what got her to where she is today, worth a cool 100 million dollars, she's also learned the hard way that sometimes you need to keep your personal life under wraps. What happened to teach her that? Well, back in 2016, Nikki and her then boyfriend Meek Mill moved into a stellar 10,000 square foot mansion. As one of Hollywood's hottest power couples at the time, that made headlines all over the press. But six months later, Nikki would have more than 200k worth of goods stolen from her home. Now, who in their right mind would want to rob from such hip hop royalty? When you hear the rumored suspect, it's probably gonna surprise you. So after having her childhood home burnt down in her former mansion trash, Nikki tried to keep the deets of the newest home she shares with her husband, Kenneth Petty, on the down low. But the thing is, with Kenneth's rep sheet making it a legal necessity to register his home address with authorities, we now know that these two share a 7,000 square foot home in the Los Angeles neighborhood known as the flag. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house story here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out where rap queen Nicki Minaj calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Before we dive into the gigantic mansions that Nikki would move into later in her life, I thought it might be interesting to take a quick look at where she started from. After being born in Trinidad and Tobago and living with her grandmother for the first five years of her life, Nikki's mother moved her family to Queens, New York to live with Nikki's father. The only problem was Nikki's dad was battling major addiction issues at the time as well as a violent temper. In December of 1987, Nikki's life would change forever after her dad attempted to burn their family home to the ground. Because I was reading at one point that um, your father made an attempt to burn the house down. No, he, he did burn the house oh. down. Oh. He did. It wasn't an attempt, he did, and my mother was in the house, and um, she had to, like, you know, run out at the last minute. But she had had a dream the night before that the house was gonna be burnt down. Thankfully, her mom experienced a premonition the night before. Dreaming that this very thing might happen, she sent her kids to spend a night at a friend's house. Which is why, when Nikki's father set fire to the house, no one was ultimately hurt, and her mom managed to escape just in time. After hearing about what happened, Nikki and her siblings ran back to watch their family home burn down to ashes. As you might imagine, that left a definite impression on a young Nikki, but it also wouldn't be the last time one of her homes made headlines for the wrong reason. After overcoming her difficult upbringing and establishing herself as one of hip hop's biggest acts, by 2016, Nicki Minaj was about as far away from her childhood in Queens as you can get. In fact, in August of that year, she and her then boyfriend Meek Mill decided to play house by moving into a gorgeous Beverly Hills mansion, paying around $35,000 a month in rent. This gigantic home was built in 2008 and was constructed on the site of old Blue Eyes Frank Sinatra's former residence. The day the home features over 10,000 square feet of space and this honey colored chateau is prominently perched on top of an embankment overlooking the gorgeous Beverly Hills. Of course, it boasts some amazing panoramic views, not to mention a five car garage, perfect for housing Nikki's luxury wheels at the time. The overall aesthetic of this place is sure to impress. It offers romantic architecture and perfect landscaping, giving it a Mediterranean 
Mediterranean vibe like many of the best California mansions. Moving to the inside, Nikki's former home features eight bedrooms, all of which are extravagantly spacious and bright. The master suite even comes complete with his and hers bathroom, as well as its very own private terrace. And the accompanying walk-in closet is legitimately so enormous that you simply have to see it to believe it. Meanwhile, terms like sleek and modern only begin to describe this mega mansion's incredible kitchen that features built-in cabinets alongside a movable ladder for those hard-to-reach shelves. Bonuses like that would be perfect for organization. Oh, and also on the property, there's a guest house with a further two bedrooms and a shared bathroom that can be accessed through either a separate individual entrance or from a balcony on the second floor. And did I mention that out back there's a sprawling lawn alongside an exquisitely designed pool and spa combo, as well as a built-in barbecue pit? Yeah, all in all, this place looks like at one time it was Nikki's own private slice of heaven. What could possibly go wrong here, right? Well, hold that thought. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! In February of 2017, after living here for only about six months, Nikki's home was broken into and totally ransacked. Law enforcement would later reveal that the home was trashed and that suspects had flipped furniture and knocked over a ton of items all over the house, almost as if they were searching for something in particular. Thankfully, neither Nikki nor anyone else was at the home at the time of break in. Whatever it is the thieves were looking for, they must have found it because they reportedly made off with around 200k worth of jewelry and other property. While police say that there were clear signs of forced entry at different spots around the house. Other sources close to Nikki, well, they suggest that the damage done to the home appeared to be personal in nature. Not only were certain items vandalized, but picture frames were destroyed, perfume bottles broken, and some of Nikki's clothing was even cut up. The police never wound up arresting a suspect for what happened, but rapper The Game sure seems to think he knows who did it, pointing his finger at none other than Meek Mill himself. In essence, Dilly Instagram post the game wrote. Instead of leaving the situation with your head up standing tall, you and your feelings so you get her house raw. Fronting for the followers she gave. And then he goes on to add some name calling, but you get the idea. In other words, the game was convinced this was simply Meek's attempt at getting back at his former girlfriend. After the end of her relationship and having been victimized by a terrible break-in, Nikki decided to move on from this palace in 2018. Soon after, Mariah Carey would move in and take up residence here for a little while. But the question remains, where did Nikki move to? Once her relationship with Meek came to an end, Nikki began dating her eventual husband, Kenneth Pett. Now, most of you probably know Petty best for all the wrong reasons, you know what I'm talking about, which has seemed to haunt him even once he moved to California to be with Nikki. In order to avoid a lengthy jail sentence of around 10 years, Kenneth eventually registered his new address. And guess what? This new home that he shares with Nikki is every bit as impressive as her old one. Located in the Los Angeles neighborhood known as The Flat, which is in walking distance of Nikki's old stomping grounds of Beverly Hills, this 10 $10 million dollar home features six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a total of around 7,000 square feet of living space. The bright and dramatic interior features some truly stunning scale and volume. We're talking 14 foot ceilings, 10 foot tall doors, not to mention walls made out of windows, and a ton of other details that all give the home a unique look and feel. But would we expect anything less grand from Nikki? Upstairs, Nikki's master suite not only has a luxurious bath with dual amenities and two giant walk-in closets. Closet, but it's also got its very own auxiliary office space as well. Oh, and the second bedroom suite upstairs is almost as big as the first, so how do you choose which to settle into? The mansion also boasts a spectacular living room with a built-in fireplace and skylight overhead, along with an unbelievable formal dining room. The open-plan family room flows into a casual eating area and through glass out to the terrace, while there's also another wall with fireplace here. This space and the attached kitchen comes with the perfect indoor-outdoor flow, leading the way to the massive and totally private sun-filled backyard. The kitchen is kept a little bit simple, but still boasts stainless steel appliances, and there's a gorgeous sunny breakfast nook with walls of glass that take in the view of the pool. Out back, there's that stunning pool and spa combo with a whole bunch of spaces for entertaining as well. Finally, there's also a separate guest house nearby with its very own gym. We already know that Nikki and her fam 
them are living their California dreams to the fullest. Anyways, that about wraps it up for our Nicki Minaj house tour. After checking out her former Beverly Hills rental mansion and her current home in LA, did you have a favorite? For me, I like them both, but the former mansion was more my style with the elegant detail, while her current spot is definitely more modern. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Nicki's luxury properties in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!